Hello there everyone, my name is Master Rufflis and welcome to Homeworld Deserts of Karak. This is an RTS created by the folks over at Blackbird Interactive and published by the guys over at Gearbox Software. Now in Homeworld Deserts of Karak, it's essentially a prequel game to Homeworld 1, taking place 100 years before the events of that game, in which your team of expeditionaries and scientists and yada 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 are charged with searching the deserts of your home planet of Karak in order to find an anomaly. Now... Uh, essentially, if you guys are unfamiliar with the Homeworld games, there is a Let's Play on my channel of both of the games in the Remastered Collection um, Edition. Uh, I will put links in the description below if you guys would like to watch those games and get caught up with the events of Homeworld 1 and 2. But without further ado, we will get right into the uh, uh, mess of the action. Now, essentially there is a multiplayer skirmish uh, component to the game, but for now we will be focusing on the campaign and in later videos We will be focusing on the multiplayer and skirmish aspects. That's pretty much about it And there are three difficulties, you know easy normal classic It will be playing on classic and that's pretty much about it Epsilon base Rachel Sajet arrives at Epsilon base as the Sajet command carrier Capisi prepares to depart on its deep desert expedition That's pretty much about it. Let us begin and I will be quiet during the cinematics and all that good stuff, so don't worry about it, guys. Along the way in our journey, we'll find a bunch of bandits to kill and all these other good people to kind of mess around with. So there will be plenty of action. Oh yeah, and if you're familiar with Homeworld games, the gameplay in this game is, you know, the same. But without, like, the 3D component. It's pretty much just Homeworld on, you know, a surface. A lot of cool cover. Cool units, too. Our planet is dying. The desert grows with every passing year. The world is at war. But there is hope. An object has been detected deep within the Great Banded Desert. It has been called the Jiraki Object, the primary anomaly. We believe it may hold the key to our salvation. An expedition to retrieve it is being prepared. Captain of the Sajet Carrier to PC. All crews, Hangar 5. 
Stand by to initiate rollout sequence. Loading control module now. Stand by. Engage main drive. Thank you, Rachel, Rachel, for that. Redeploy to your base runner. Copy that. Attention all stations. Now it is mine. For the expedition carrier, Kabisi. I will be issuing all mission objectives through this channel. Before departure, we need to run essential tests on our key capabilities. Hold on a second. Let me increase this volume a little bit. Thought the game speech was okay. So let's but... run through these quickly. Okay, that's better. Fleet operations, is your channel clear? Affirmative. I will be providing all non-critical updates on unit production, research, resource salvaging, and all carrier systems through this channel. Copy that. Stand by to initiate production test. Alright, so let's look around the base. Actually, I want to give you guys some First, nice little looks of all the, the units. You know, though we're we're definitely like slowing I'm definitely slowing things down, but I do want to give you guys like a little bit of some uh love. You know, I want to I want to give you guys the graphics overview and all that stuff. I do have some eye candy. Strike responding. Can't control these units, which is unfortunate. All right, so essentially it is a it's so much similar to the original Homeworld. If you guys are familiar with Homeworld 1 controls or Homeworld 2 controls, you'll be familiar with this game. Like, it's just homeworld on land. Alright, so let's just uh, construct something right about now. Okay, so it's E and then R. Alright. That's Rachel Sajet. And we'll be looking at her a little bit. Stand by to commence resource test. She has a little bit of a Order the salvager to gather nearby machine gun over here. Located here. Reading you. There's some resources right there. So let us... Okay, Just right click and that's about it. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Clicked Rachel. My bad, shape, Rachel. Alright, time to look at the salvager, actually. I love how all the units kind of kick up a little bit of dust. Gives that a little bit of extra flair. The salvager looks really cute. Look at its corkscrew and its, like, hand. It's wonderful. Alright, Rachel, can you repair that? Thank you. Oh, we'll look at the support cruiser as well. This will be a unit that will be very important to us later on. It's essentially a capital ship. But, um, for repairing and for getting resources, you can see it at the bottom, uh, left right over here. Font's a little bit small, but should be too much of a problem. Goodbye. For combat test. Oh. In order to produce combat vehicles, we will need to invest time and resources in upgrading our tech. The first step is to upgrade the Capici's advanced manufacturing facilities. Once that is done, we will be able to build light attack vehicles. Carrier copies. All right, so those guys are about to fuck off Research in about a completed. second. Light attack vehicle fabrication now Fact. Are they moving? Ready. No, they're not. But they're about to. Attack vehicles from the Capici. All right. 
Easy and they'll come out of here. Actually, let's just uh, move the rally point there. Yeah, I really like how this intro mission has, like, a lot of life to it. Like, you can go around and look at everything. We can look at these uh, armored vehicles, actually. These guys are very good at destroying the, um, the light assault vehicles. But that's obvious, because these things are pretty much tanks. I mean, look at that gun. It's a Gatling gun. Alright, here's my light attack vehicles. Pretty much the same ones as you saw before, where I was showing off the eye candy. They have dual Gatling guns. Alright. Let's just attack. Oh, inbound. Let's have these guys move and shoot. Looks kind of cooler. Confirmed. All required tests are complete. Give me a go, no go for launch. Operations? Go. Bridge? Go. Rachel? Science team's in place. We're go. Engineering? Go. Confirm all systems go. All right, let's launch. We are go for launch. It's not going to be as impressive as, Understood. Prepare to open outer doors. you know, Humboldt 1's launch, but whatever. But that was because they were going into, like, supersonic speeds and stuff like that. In fact, not even supersonic speeds. They went even farther. Outer oh, wait, I should shut up. Opening. Mass ratio in line. Tracking salt. Doors at 50%. Looking good. Bring engines to speed and move out. Outer doors at full aperture and secure. She's all yours, Captain. All stations, this is your captain. Today we embark on a historic mission to find and retrieve the Draki object. Lying at the heart of the Great Banded Desert, deep inside Galcian territory, we believe it holds the key to our survival on this planet. The journey will be perilous, but if successful, we will change the course of history forever and secure our future for generations to come. All right. Well, that's pretty much Personal about it. Personal log: Science Officer Rachel Sajet, Expedition Carrier Capisi. We've launched three months ahead of schedule and just in time. The Gaussian threat was far greater than we had anticipated. As the lead scientist on this expedition, I'm more convinced than ever that my brother was right. That what lies out there amongst the dunes holds the key to our survival on this planet and possibly beyond we have no choice now but to believe I like this map it's it's really cool actually and i like all these little like snippets here and there of uh, our fleet inventory and kpc status and all that stuff it's really cool um that will be it for the first mission and you guys can stay tuned for second mission third mission in the entirety of the campaign if you would like to subscribe to the channel and like this video and all that type of good stuff uh, i will see you guys next time Bye bye